We are going to explore examination style questions based on circles and tangents. There are three problems which will be discussed. I hope they will help you in understanding the concepts. In case you want to join my classes, you can always send an email on the address given. Let us now enjoy the journey of success. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have three questions based on equation of circles and tangents for you. These have been taken from previous test papers. I hope they will help you to prepare better. In case you need help from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Question number one is, find the equation of a circle through the point minus one zero which touches y-axis at 0, 2. So that's your question number one. You can pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Here is the second question for you, which is slightly more complicated. A line y equals to 1 over 3x is tangent to the circle C at point P with center at M74. Find equation of the line PM. Find equation of the circle C. Aligned y equals to 1 over 3x plus k is also tangent to the curve C. Find the value of k. Perfect. So that is your question number 2. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestions. Question number 3. A line y equals to 3x plus k is tangent to the circle x square plus y square minus 10x plus 4y plus 11 equals to 0. So we are given the equation in the standard form. Find the center of the circle, find the radius of the circle find possible value of k. So, so that this line is tangent to the given circle. Perfect. So, these are the three questions for you. You can answer them one by one. In case you need help, you can always contact me on the email address given. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to provide the solution of question number one. Let us see and understand what the question is. Question one is find equation of circle through the point minus one zero which touches y axis at zero two. So let's sketch the diagram. That really helps. So we have a circle, of course, and what is given to us is it has a y-intercept which just touches the y-axis, right? And the point where it touches is 0, 2, that means y value is 2. Also, we are given that it passes through point minus 1, 0. So, minus 1, 0 is one of the points where it passes through. So, let's draw a line like this. And so, we can say that that could be the point, right? Minus 1. You get the idea. So, that is the location of the circle on the coordinate plane. How can we find the equation of this circle? Let's think about it. Now, clearly, if uh, it is tangent to the y-axis. In that case, the line which goes through this, which is the right bisector of the y-axis, 
should actually go through the center of the circle, right? So, so any line which is parallel to x axis will be y equals to 2. And therefore, any point on this line which, let us say, the center of the circle will be what? This is what you have to figure out. Well, the x value we do not know, but we know the y value. x value is equal to the radius, right? So, if A is the radius, in that case, the center will be A2. Do you see that? The center will be at A, which is minus here in this case, correct? So, from this discussion, what do you understand? Let us write down. So, we have a circle whose equation is x minus, let us say some value x1, whole square plus y minus y1, whole square equals to r square. We need to figure out where the center will be. Now, in the given situation, we can say, that the center of the circle will be at what point? Center of the circle will be at a point R units on the left. Do you see that? So, so we can say it is A2 because the Y value will be 2. You get the idea. Center will be at A2. And also we see that the radius R is equal to the absolute value of A because radius cannot be negative, right? So, radius is absolute value of A. Does make sense to you? Now, with that in mind, we can write down the equation of the circle, which now becomes x minus A whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equals to A square. You get the idea. Since the radius is equal to the absolute value of A from center to the y axis, perfect. So, given that it goes through a point minus 1 and we have used the point y axis 0, 2, we got this point. Is that clear to you? Now, at this stage, you can also substitute the, the x intercept. Let us call this x intercept as a point P, which is minus 1, 0, right? So, I am writing this point as point P. We will substitute this value here and then find what the value of x could be. So, we have here x value is minus 1 minus a whole square plus y value being 0 minus 2 whole square is equal to a square. So, at this stage, we have an equation of circle only in one variable, which is a. So, we can easily solve this quadratic equation. So, let us expand minus 1 minus 1. It is same as 1 plus a whole square, right? Everything is positive in this case because it is all squared. So, a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, that gives us 1 plus 2a plus a square and here we get what? Minus 2 whole square is 4 and we have a square right there. Now, in this equation, a square, a square cancel. So, we have what? We have 2a plus 5 equals to a square minus a square, which is 0, right? So, we can now write down our answer, which is 2a equals to minus 5 and that gives us a as minus 5 by 2 or minus 2.5. Is that clear to you? So, that becomes the value of a in this particular case. Now, since we know a, we can write down our equation. Is that clear to you? Perfect. So, 
So, we can actually solve this equation in this particular fashion. So, I hope this point is absolutely clear to you. And therefore, we can now write down the equation as x minus. Now, since this is negative, it becomes positive. Let me write down in fractions 5 by 2 whole square plus, we already have this as my y minus 2 whole square is equal to r square, which is a square, which is 5 by 2 whole square. Is that clear to you? Perfect. So, we get our equation and let me write down the answer now. It can be written as x plus 5 by 2 whole square. I prefer to write it in fractions plus y minus 2 whole square is equal to 25 by 4. Perfect. So, so that is how we are going to write down or get this particular equation of the circle. Is this absolutely clear to you? Right. So, so that is the way we could actually solve it. Well, you could also write this in a different way. That is to say, you could multiply by 4 each and avoid the fraction, but that is good enough. You get the idea. So, so solution, you can see how it works out. So, we started with the sketch itself. As you can see here, we are given that the y-axis, it touches the y-axis, means y-axis is tangent, right? So, add 2. So, let us review. Solution. just for the clarity, right? So, that really means that the center will be somewhere here, right? And the point will definitely be some value of A, but the Y value will be 2, clear? So, that gives you an equation X minus A whole square plus Y minus 2 whole square equals 2. Now, in this case, the radius is also A, the absolute value of A, right? So, absolute value of A whole square, which is A square. You get the idea. And since we know that there is a point on the circle, which is at minus 1, 0, we can substitute this point, right? So, the x-intercept, which we used as minus 1, 0, when you substitute, you get what? You get minus 1 minus a whole square plus 0 minus 2 whole square equals to a square. And solve this to find a. And we found the value of a as what? We found the value of a as minus 5.2. Substituting that, we get our solution. Is that clear to you? So, so that is how we will actually solve this kind of a question. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.